everyone, thank you so much for joining us with Cooking with Miss Brenda. And today is a really extra special day for me because I have my little nephew with me today and his name is Sawyer. Can you tell me what your name is? What is your name? Sawyer. Sawyer. And uh, how old are you, Sawyer? Four. He's four years old. Are you in school yet? No. No? You aren't in, are you in high school? No. No? Um, but, but do you take, what kind of things do you like to do? Do you like to play soccer or? When you come to Auntie Brenda's house, what are the things that you like to eat? You know is special in, uh, in a box in my bedroom. What do we have for you? Toys. Toys, and, and they're always a special toy that, you, that when I have boys and girls come to my house to visit, everyone gets a chance. My mom lives with me and she, it's her job to make sure that every child that comes and visits Miss Brenda gets a special toy from the box. What did you choose today? Mustaches. They had a thing of mustaches in there. They, they, they have sticky on the back and they can put on there. I bet that's going to look pretty cute, huh? And do you like to play, um, do you like to play games? What kind of games do you like to play? On my what? Yeah, what kind of games do you like to play? Like, do you like to play with your brother? Yeah. Yeah, tell me about your brother. What's it, the, tell everyone what his name is. Nolan. Nolan, and, and tell, tell everyone about Nolan. Can I do that? Yeah, you can do that. <laughs> I, got, I just want you to hear you talk. You talk so cute. So you can tell him about how old is your brother? Eight. He's eight years old. And does your brother go to school? Yes. He does. Does your brother like school? No. He doesn't. Oh, but, do you, but are you excited about going to school next year? Yes. And what are you most excited about going to school? What do you think you're going to look forward to the most? Crystal rocks. Crystal rocks. What is that? They have crystal rocks. They have smooth rocks at school. Oh, really? And yes. so do you like rocks? Yes. I've been in kindergarten and non school. Oh, you have. Oh, so will you, will you go to kindergarten next year? Is that what you're going to do? Yeah. Yeah. And i already been in non school and got to stay there and have lunch with them and have recess. Oh, you did? So you visited your brother at school and stayed with him, had lunch and recess? What did you do at recess? Um... Played. You played? Do you, you, you remember what you played? No. 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 So tell me, um, would you like to, um, when your kind of toys and things that you like to play with, are, are you really into Legos or you like cars or trucks or what kind of things do you like? Porsches. Oh, you like cars. You like Porsches. Okay. Well, that's, that, those are pretty nice cars, aren't they? But no one likes Mustangs. Oh, what's a Mustang? It has, sometimes Mustangs have stripes. Uncle Grant has one. He does? Mm-hmm. Have you ridden in it? No. <gasps> Why not? Because I just haven't. You just haven't, but, but maybe sometime you will? Yep. Yeah. Well, are you excited about cooking with Auntie Brenda today? Mm-hmm. All right. And do you know what we're going to we're, we're gonna make? You tell everybody we're going to make. Just I'm gonna let him tell you. What are we making? Say it nice and loud. Cool. Cool. Uh-huh. Pounder. Pounder. Beat. Beat. Burgers. Yes. <laughs> and that's what we're making today. Quarter pounder beet burgers. And uh, I love this recipe. It's so, it, it's absolutely delicious. delicious. Um, the original recipe, I had put black beans in it. But I came across a lot of people that couldn't have beans. Or they said beans kind of made them gassy. And they didn't want the beans in their burgers. So I said, okay. Um, Melissa is really... <laughs> She's like, did you just say yes? <laughs> but most is laughing at me. Is she? Yes, you know, we can say that. Um, and so I, I swapped out the beans and put one cup of pecans in there. So if you've already made my quarter pounder beet burger, um, then you will know that um, there's a little bit of change. That is it. So uh, are you ready to start? Now, the first thing that we did before we, that we, we came on was, what did your mama help you do here? Wash my hands. So tell all the boys and girls before they start cooking with us today, please wash your hands. Can you tell them? 
when you are cooking something, you have to wash your hands first. Yes, and do you wash them just a little bit or do you really wash them good? Wash them good. Yes, because we don't want any germs in our food, right? No. No, we like nice, clean food. So, we have a bowl in here. And to make our quarter pounder beet burger, can you say that again? Quarter pounder beet burger. Quarter pounder beet burger. <laughs> I say that. You do that so well, Sawyer. I just love you. So, now we're going to just start putting stuff in a bowl. So, this is brown rice. Brown rice is good for you, isn't it? And and uh, you want to help me? I'm going to hold it there. You want to use your spatula and get it out of the bowl for me? Yep, just put it all in there. How's that? You getting that good? Okay. And when we're done, he's going to get his hands in there and really mix this stuff together. Now, this is some onions and some garlic that I've already sautéed so it's clear. And you saute them until, it's, until the onions are clear. I don't like raw onions. I just don't like them. If you like raw onions, go ahead and put them in here. It's not going to be hurt of the thing. You can skip that step. You can just put it in raw. But I really do like my onions really done. Okay, now this is a, a twist. You know what this is? What do you think that is? You want to smell it? See what do you think? What do you think that is? <laughs> yeah. That's, that's sweet potatoes. Do you like sweet potatoes? Yes. Yeah, I like sweet potatoes. You yes. never, have you ever thought about putting sweet potatoes in a burger before? No. No, but it's really good. All right, so I'll hold it up here. You put it in that pan, okay? Get that last bit out. Good deal. All right. And... Then we're going to put oats. You want to put your oats in there? Cool. Yeah, put all those in there. Good job. You, isn't he doing a good job? You know, before we go any further, I need to welcome um, our viewing audience. So let me turn this on here so that we can get um, our viewing audience here. And you can see, look at this is what we look like, Sawyer. See? And let's see, we have Liesl joined us today and Carolyn Walker. And uh, you want to say hi, Carolyn? Say hi, Carolyn. We got her. Hi, Carolyn. Okay. And say uh, hi to Mary. Mary Guy from Michigan. Can you say hi to her? Say hi, Mary Guy. Hi, Mary Guy. And then say hi to um, uh, Avia. Can you say hi to Avia? Hi, Avia. And Avia is watching from Alberta, Canada. Thank you guys for telling me where you're from. We love to hear where they're from, don't we? Okay. And then we have Lachelle. And, oh, she says, Shell is very, my very special friend down in Florida. Can you say a very special hello to, to Lachelle? Say, tell, hello. And, and say, hi, Lachelle. Hi, Lachelle. Say, Miss Brenda loves you. Miss Brenda loves you. Yes, I do. Okay, and then Rhonda. We're going to say, hey, Rhonda, are you still in Florida? Uh, uh, say hi to Miss Rhonda. Hi, Rhonda. Okay. And so we're so thankful that you guys all joined us today. You are going to love this recipe. Now, this is a recipe sometimes, uh, I have many veg uh, veggie burgers out there, and I've made, and so many of them are cookbooks, but um, this particular, usually I say you can fry it or bake it. This one is a recipe you really do want to bake. Uh, I tried frying it, and it will fall apart a little bit because I think it's soft. I think because of the mashed potato, the sweet potatoes in there, it might make it softer. What do you think, Sawyer? You think that might make it softer? Yeah, hey, I've got his, his stamp of approval, right? All right, we're going to put our pecans. These are uh, coarsely chopped. Um, Ashley, would you, Ashley is Sawyer's mom. Will you just stay, you can stand over there and just um, hold it up to the camera because people like to see how coarse, when I say how coarse they should be, most will tell you what to go higher or lower. And, um, okay, that's how fine I want the pecans. So you don't really want to see a lot of big nuts. So go ahead and put those in there, Sawyer. Good job. Okay, all right, and now um, let's let's see if can you try to stir that in there just a little bit. I'll try to help you. You know, get your spatula and go underneath, and we'll try to stir that all up. Can you? Yep, that's good. Good job. Do you like cooking and stir you? What kind of things do you cook and cook with your mommy at home? Lots of things. Like what? That all yummy. Like lots of things. Stew. Stew. Uh huh. What else? Yummy stuff. Do you ever make cookies? Mm, just sometimes. Just sometimes. What's your favorite cookie? Mm, your cookies. My cookies. 
And I did not tell him to say that. <laughs> well, I made some chocolate chip cookies and uh, for um, his daddy, um, Jason Mitchell, is so precious to me, he's my nephew, and I needed, uh, every every week, um, we are raising money for our ministry. I'm at the Village Market every Friday, uh, along with my uh, our general manager for Kids Club for Jesus, Melissa Hoffman, and we are selling baked goods every Friday at the Village Market from 12 to 3 every Friday. And sometimes Thursday nights, I don't get a whole lot of sleep because I'm up baking all night long. And so I decided that, well, my mom actually told me I needed to get an oven that had double ovens. So if you look behind me here, there's oven down here and there's, there's one up here. And his dad brought it to me yesterday. Wasn't that sweet? We have three ovens. You have three ovens. I need to come bake at your house. <laughs> no, we just have two. Oh. One up here and one up down. Oh, so you have one up here, so you have double ovens, so, huh? Yep. Yeah. And um, and do you do you have you baked in both those ovens? Mm. Yes. Yes. Okay. Well, well, that's a pretty. I think I should, I think Auntie Brenda should come bake at your house. What do you think? Yeah. Yeah. Then you can help me all the time. Wouldn't that be fun? Of course. You I, can bake yummy things on our stove. I'll make yummy things on your stove. Yes, I will. <laughs> Okay, so let's see. get this all mixed up together right here. And that's looking really good. Can I just tell you, you are doing a fantastic job. Now we can add the rest of our stuff, okay? So let's let's get some of this popped out of the bowl here and we won't. Here's the beets. Yes. Let me share with you what this is. These are grated. You take fresh beets. And let me show you what a fresh beet is. Have you ever seen a fresh beet? I'm, I'm going to show you right now, and this is a fresh beet right here, and you can see the root on it, and you can see the plant, and I'm going to see if um, Ashley, with your mommy, would come over and do this again, so everybody can see, because I ha can't believe how many people have never seen what a beet looks like. Beets are very, very healthy for you. You might want to get up a little higher. Yeah, a little higher. Yep, right. and let's see how that is. So, what I did was wash it, then I cut the tops off. And then I peeled it with that potato peeler, and then I grated it with a grater, just an old-fashioned. Oops! Well, that took a lot of noise. Um, just an old-fashioned grater like this, okay? And that's what I grated it with. So this is what we got, and it's it's grated so fine that when you bake these burgers in the oven, it cooks that beet. This beet also is responsible for making your burger um, get a pinky red appearance that looks exactly like hamburger. Can you, have you ever seen real hamburger? Somebody no? is saying that your mic seems crunchy. I'm not sure if your connection is stable or... Um, okay, let's see. Need to talk. Just a little quieter today. All right, let's see. Um, well, it's on and the connection's on. Let me try this. Is mine on? Yep, yeah, can we hear you? Yours is fine. It's just Auntie Brenda's that's a little funny. Let's see if this is any better. What do you think? And let's see here. Um, guess what? Nana's watching you in the other room. She's in, in her room and with her dog, Zeke. What is, it, what is Nana's dog's name? Zeke. Zeke, uh-huh. Do you know what kind of dog it is? Shepherd doggy. Uh-huh, shepherd, German shepherd. All right, so we have Gemma is watching us, and also Jen. Where are you guys from? Let us know, okay? And um, let's see, Cheryl. Oh, my good friend Cheryl Rogers is watching. Hello, Cheryl. And um, let's see, we have uh, Molly Jo is watching, and she goes, those burgers sound and look delicious, and they can't wait to try the recipe. And they are watching from Ottawa. So, Molly Jo, you'll have to come and see me on Friday at the Village Market. I'm there with all kinds of baked goods, and I'm going to bake them in my new oven if I can figure out how to turn it off and on. So, <laughs> that's a little bit challenging right now. Okay, so now can you pour this in? This is McKay's Chicken Style Seasoning, and you can just sprinkle it all over. Good job. Very, very good job. Now, let's put the parsley in. See all these yummy ingredients in here? They're so good. And now we're going to put in a little bit of ketchup. And can you, what is this? Ketchup. Okay, and you want to put that in there? Okay. 
Good job. Get every bit out, okay? I like ketchup with potatoes. Oh, I do too. You want to put some, we'll get all of it out of there? See if you can get it. Yeah, because you know. It's sticky. Yeah, it is kind of sticky. Kind of like peanut butter. Kind of like peanut butter, that's true. <laughs> it kind of sticks to the bowl. All right, so now this is some Worcestershire sauce. And you can get um, vegan Worcestershire sauce in um, in a lot of gro regular grocery stores. You want to get the, let me give you something to wipe your hands on here. It didn't help. So Thank you. It probably would be better if you just turned your mic off and and piggybacked off the Sawyer's there. Okay. You're, you talk loud enough where it's going to pick up. You're, you're close enough. You're going to pick up both of you. Okay, so I'm going to turn mine off and we're just going to talk on yours. How, how does that sound? Let me know. Okay, and then we have Benita joined us and also Kylie is joining us. So, and Molly Joe says they'll come by on Friday. You will want to come by. I have my homemade bread. We've got homemade sticky buns, the pecan sticky buns, and sweet rolls. And I have cookies and cakes and pies. And um, what else do we have, Melissa? Oh, scones. Melissa makes amazing scones. They are the best scones in the world. So we're going to have lots of stuff Don't for you to try. Don't get your stone out. You what? You, oh, do you have to stir it? Well, let's put it, we have a little bit of cayenne pepper. It doesn't make anything too hot, but you, can you get it out of the, the rest of it out of there for me? Yeah, that's good. Okay. okay. And now we have a little bit of fresh lemon juice. You want to pour that in and see if you can get it all out? Good job. Lemon juice is huh? sour. Yes. What is it? Sour. That, say, why don't you tell everybody about lemon juice? Tell them again. Sour. Yeah, tell them lemon juice is sour. Lemon juice is very sour. Yeah, there it is. Uh, I do not like you don't lemon like lemon juice. Do you like lemonade? Because yes. lemonade has sugar in it, and that makes the lemons not so sour, right? All right, so now we're going to stir this up first, and then we're going to put our beets in. Um, is it okay if his hands get a little pink from beet juice, Mama? Okay, his Mama says yes. Okay. So, because he's going to get a little pink hands, I think, you know. Um, I don't have gloves big enough for you to, uh, let's get this right here and stir it in. Small enough. I don't have, yeah, I don't have gloves small enough, but I wonder if you can even order those, Melissa. We should look into see if we could get um, child uh, latex gloves. Wouldn't that be nice if we could do that? Okay, so now we've got that pretty much mixed in, and now go ahead and put those beets in, okay? And... Yep, but let's get them all in there. Can you scooch them all out? Okay, and you can try to stir them in first. Yeah, how, how are we doing? Okay, we got them almost out. You can try stirring them in, and then we'll try mixing with your hands, okay? Yeah, we could have used a bigger bowl. I'm notorious for not having a bowl big enough, really, honestly. So, y'all, if you've been watching me in cooking sh shows all these years, you know that that's the case. So, you know. It's part of the course. Okay, so let's see here. Um, oh, this is really looking good, Sawyer. You're doing a good job. Okay, now at this point, do you want to just because he's what he washed his hands? He, tell me, you washed your hands really good, right? Okay, so now you can get your hands in there and just mix it up. All right. Yep. Just have fun. Just mix it, mix it, mix it. Squeeze it tight and mix it. And you can put your hand under it and pull it around and see like this. So you get all. You want all of it to be red. Okay. So just yep. Just keep on. And mommy, we will send some of these home with you for supper. Okay. Would you like that? Yeah. Okay. Would you like some for supper too? No. No. <laughs> Do you, 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 you were telling me, um, do you like quarter pounder beet burgers? Do you like any kind of burger? No. No. <laughs> so you don't have to eat these, okay? We won't I have do like some burgers. You do? Mm -hmm. What kind of burgers do you like? Um, I don't know the name of them. Okay. Are they ones you buy frozen or homemade? Homemade. Homemade. Okay. Well, I that sounds See, we're good. you're doing a really good job. Get down in there and squeeze that really good. Now, can you see how this mixture is turning to a nice? It looks like it's looks like it's real hamburger, doesn't it? Oops, we got some that hopped out of the bowl over here. How did it hop out? I don't know. See how it did that? And jumped out too. Whoa, whoa, whoa. They're, they're jumping all over the place, aren't they? Let's see here. We're getting really good. All right, let's do it a little more. We're getting all that brown rice mixed in. All those fresh beets and the onions 
and oops oh i found a whole bunch of right there you got to put those in there okay here's some more you mix those in and this is what we're doing he's we're just going to keep on mixing that like they are let's see who else we have watching us um and uh, don't forget to tell us where you're from, guys, okay? Oops, some more is happening out of the bowl over here. <laughs> isn't this fun, though? It's, it's, it's a lot of fun cooking in the kitchen, isn't it? I bet you could teach your mama how to make this. What do you think? Oops, there's some down here. Let me turn this over and see if you can mix that in. See that down there? See if you can mix all that in. Make it all nice and red. Yep, you're doing a good job. And you have a brother, Nolan and your big brother nolan and he's going to come another day and be cooking with me but um he would come and taste today but he's not a big burger fan either he doesn't like burgers either so i don't like those burgers no so you don't like burgers either but because they're beaten down <laughs> beet, these beet burgers are be called beet burgers because of the beets in them you know that big beet i showed you over here that's that's what this is this red stuff right over here that's what that is oh look at how good he is doing that that is so amazing and um so we won't have a tester today because lots of pink yep lots of pink let's see and can you get down underneath here and oops, some jumped out of the bowl over here okay let's go here and keep on mixing right there while you're mixing i'll go get um uh, a really handy dandy little tool the kitchen tool that i like to use in the kitchen go ahead and keep squeezing and mixing that and then we'll see if mom will hold it up to um to the camera so that you guys can see it. whoops i'm just making all kinds of noise today um oh let's use this one i have all of these here aren't these fun to use and they make sure everything i can use them for cookies i use them for meatballs i use them for burgers it makes everything the same size and it makes it really really easy so let's now let's have your mom hold this up so that everybody can see this looks just like real hamburger just hold your hands like this we're gonna wash it in a minute okay see while she's showing everybody um, step down here and I will move your stool so that you can wash your hands okay hold on just a minute just stop it. yep stand up here and <clears throat> let's see here now just let's wash those really good okay is your watch waterproof? Is my watch waterproof? You know, I think it is. I think it is. Well, I have a watch that has games on it. You do? Yep. Oh, um, wow. Soccer. Uh-huh, soccer? It has games where you shoot bugs in an enemy ship. Uh-huh. And it has two of those. And it has basketball. Really? Yep. Wow. And all and your watch. And it has bombing on the head with, um, I don't know the kind of. Uh, you yeah. bong somebody on the head with it? Oh, wow. Well, don't bong me. With a hammer. No, on my watch. On your watch. Okay, okay, let's move this over here now. Okay, so go right over here. Okay, now let me put this over here. This is a kind of made a little bit of a mess, didn't we? Yeah. But that's good. It was a good kind of mess. What would you think about that burger? Is that not amazing, guys? How that looks just like real hamburger, doesn't it? So what we're going to do... Now it's time to eat this. Yep, you can do this. Um, what we're going to do is you're going to take a scoop and you bring it right to the edge of the bowl to fill it up and hold it tight like that, okay? Now wait a second. I've got to put this on first. We're going to take a little nonstick cooking spray and we're just going to spray the bottom of the pan really, really good. And then, then you're going to put that down. Whoops. Perfect. That's perfect. Can you do another one like that? Could you see that, Melissa? Let's see here. Okay, there you go. Now I'm going to put another one right here. And you and, then a, and another one right here. Do you need help with that one or you need, or you got it? And just shove it against the side of the pan. Perfect. Look at how good he, Sonia, you're a natural. Do you ever want to be a chef someday? Mm -hmm. Would you like to be a cook? What do you want to do when you grow up? Um, be... Um, fireman. You want to be a fireman? Oh, okay. Well, no, you got to, that's a lot in that one. So, yeah. so push it up against the side of the bowl so that you can get it even. And then you see how once he has it in there, I'm going to, I'm going to use a glove. Is that okay? 
and I'm going to have taken my glove and I'm going to just flatten this out just like this with the palm of my hand and then I'm, I go around the edges and make sure that they're a nice round patty. Look at that Sawyer. See? This is great teamwork. You're doing such a good job. Okay, I think we've got the hang of it now. And we just keep on doing that. And let me put this one down here so that they can see. And we'll see if his mom will hold this up so everybody can see again. You want to put one right down here? All right. And you can, we'll do another whole row. That one got a little skimpy on that one, but that's okay. All right, so we'll let his mom show you guys how nice that looks. You're going to spray the tops of that with um, a nonstick cooking spray. And then at 375 degrees uh, oven, you're going to bake that for about 15, 20 minutes on one side. Spray it and then flip it over and bake another 15 to 20 minutes. And they will be nice and kind of uh, uh, Honey, like this? golden on the outside. Oh, yeah, right here. That's perfect. Yep, you're doing a really good job. And they are ready to eat. Now, you can do a, a couple things. I did try to fry these in the, in the skillet, and they kind of fall apart a little bit, I'll be honest with you. They really need the baking so that they get that nice um, crusty edge on the side, and it's nice and moist inside. So they don't fall apart, so, so you can eat them better. Yes, that's right. So they can eat. Can we give me one more over here, and I think we'll have our pan done. Look at that. You did an amazing job. And what you can do then, once they're baked, let them cool, and then you can put them in freezer bags and freeze them and bring them out as you need them to eat, or you can eat them right away. And that is all there is to it. So we got one more over here, and this is ready for the oven, isn't it? All right. But I think we're going to, I have a few more chocolate chip cookies to bake for you afterwards, or after the, after the program today. So, mm -hmm. so we do have some new watches, so let's look and see. Let me take this off. And... Let's see over here. We have um, Elaine is watching. Can say hi. Hello, Elaine. Want to say hi? Hello, Elaine. Yes, and then say oh, hi. Can you where say is my microphone? Um, you know what? We, it, your little, um, he wanted to know where his little fuzzy thing on the mic is. Let me put this over here. Okay. I was thinking, oh, no, I hope that didn't go in the beet burgers. <laughs> but it didn't. All right, so you want to say hi to Elaine? Hi. Hi, Elaine. And say hi to uh, Benita. Hi, Benita. And hi to Kylie. Hi, Kylie. And hi to Pamela. Hi, Pamela. And you know what? Pamela's joining us from Jamaica. That's a long way away. Did you know that? Yeah, so wave at her. Because so, she's way across the ocean in Jamaica. I've been to Jamaica. It's beautiful over there. I spoke at their camp meeting over there uh, a couple years ago. And then uh, Hol Helene is watching. Can you say Helene? Say hello, Hel Helene. And she's from Alberta, Canada. Hello, Helene. Hello, Helene. Uh huh. And then, um, oh, and you know who else is watching? She's her name is Ash, and she is our director of social media. She lives in South Africa. You know what? It's her birthday. And it's her birthday today. So can we sing Happy Birthday to Ash? You want to sing Happy Birthday to her? Hello, Ash. Say happy birthday. Happy birthday. Yeah, can you say, do you want to sing happy birthday to her? No. No, will you sing with me? We'll sing our, our happy birthday, um, our, um, our Christian happy birthday song. Can you help? Mm -hmm. Can you sing with that? Happy, happy birthday, birthday to you, to Jesus be true. God bless you and keep you the whole year through. Happy birthday, Ash! Say happy birthday, Ash! Happy birthday, Ash! All right, and then um, uh, Kylie says, awesome job, and that they're going to try that recipe. They are from Brisbane, Australia. Can that say, um, have you ever been to Australia? Do you know, Auntie Brenda has been many, many times. In fact, almost every year for almost 12, 15 years. Um, and then can you say hello to Grant Williams is watching. Can you say hi, Grant? Hi, Grant. And why don't you ask everybody if they'd like to try the recipe. Tell them it's really easy. Would you like to try the recipe? It's very easy. And, and, um, and tell them that the best part about making a recipe is when you eat it, right? The best, the best part when you make a recipe, you eat it. Yes. And what is your favorite food, Sawyer? Corn dogs. 
Corn dogs. Do you make homemade corn dogs? Mm. No, I make homemade corn dogs. Maybe your auntie make you some sometime. Would that be good? All right, we'll try that. And next time, um, your brother's going to come on. You want you want to come on and be a taster when your brother's here? Oh, we making chocolate chip cookies with no one. You want me to do that? He loves my chocolate chip cookies. Well, you know what? I don't know. Miss um, Melissa is the one that chooses the recipes. In fact, we're going to we're going to do something different that we haven't done before. Normally, we put out four recipes and we let everyone vote on a recipe. Uh, but but we are going to change it up a little bit and we're going to choose the recipes for a while. Um, we've had some that have gotten so excited about doing that that they actually vote a lot of times over and over and over again. And so we want to just keep it really fair. So for a little while, we're going to just start um, choosing the recipes for you. And uh, Melissa has told us that next week's recipe is garden vegetable rotini. Garden vegetable rotini. Do you like pasta? Yeah, but I think you might like this one. Do you like vegetables? You do? What's your favorite vegetable? Mm, broccoli. Broccoli. And, and what other vegetables do you like? Blueberry. Want to tell everybody here what you like? What kinds of fruits and, and vegetables? What could tell everyone the kinds that you like? You gotta look in the camera though. To tell Blueberries, them. strawberries, mangoes, and grapes. Mm hmm. And broccoli. And broccoli. You really like broccoli, huh? Yeah. Would you like green beans? Yes. Yes. Well, you, he's pretty healthy, doesn't he? I'm pretty proud of you. Well, I want to thank you so much, Nolan, for uh, being on the program with me today. Do you think everybody's going to have fun making this recipe? Sorry. I'm sorry. So sorry. <laughs> I was talking about your brother, Nolan, and so I know your name is Sawyer. But you know what? I'm glad that you corrected me because we wouldn't want somebody joining in and thinking your name was the wrong name, would we? Yeah. Tell everybody what your name is. Sawyer. Yes. Sawyer is a nice name, isn't it? And, uh, and I was so impressed because you have a good memory. You memorize even Bible text, don't you? Yes, and one of these times, and, and some special songs you like to sing. I, I like the videos that you do for me. In fact, Sawyer was on a um, program with me. Stand up, sweetheart, because they can't see you down there. Um, he was on, a, uh, if you go to our website, kidsclubforjesus.org, and you click on the story time, you'll see Sawyer on the program with me. And we had Teddy Bear with us, didn't we? Yeah. Do you, do you have a doggy? What's your doggy's name? Rowdy and Cooper. What, you got to tell everybody here. Rowdy and Cooper. Rowdy and Cooper. Okay, so Nolan's wanting to tell you something. What do you want, Nolan? I'm talking to Sawyer. Oh, he's talking to Sawyer. Okay, well, it's almost time for us to say goodbye. So I want to thank everyone for joining us today. Please visit our website. Hi, so I want to say hi to Ruby and Rosie. Say hi to them. Hi, Ruby and Rosie. Wave to him. Tell him thank you for joining us. Hi, Levi. Thank you for joining us. <laughs> and uh, I want you to go to our website. Can you say this, Sawyer? Kids Club for Jesus. Kids Club for Jesus. Dot O-R-G. Dot O-R-G. Yes, and you go to our website. You can see um, all kinds of programs that we have there for you. Also, our free app you can download on your phone or your iPad or your smart tablet. And uh, go to kidsclubforjesus.org. Want to tell them one more time? Kids Club for Jesus. Kids Club for Jesus. Dot O-R-G. Dot O-R-G. That's right. Can you tell everyone thank you for joining us? Thank you for joining us. Say see you next week. See you next week. That's Goodbye, right. guys. And also, don't forget to join us every Sabbath at 5.30. I'll be at the piano playing your favorite songs, all right? Mm -hmm. Well, have an awesome week praising Jesus. Remember, boys and girls, it's kids' time to share Jesus. You want to say that with me? It's, could look right there. It's, it's kids' time, time to share Jesus. Jesus. Keep waving. There we go. Bye-bye, everybody. God bless you.